Good morning, it's Friday the 4th of November 2022. It's a lovely sunny, if a little bit cold day, and I'm here at Prittlewell Station in the metropolis that is Southend-on-Sea. So if I'm at a railway station, it means that I'm gonna be making a little journey. And today we're gonna to go and have a ride on the Romford to Upminster branch line. So let's get a train and get going. Okay, so I've never been on this line before. I've, um, I grew up in around Romford, and um, whilst I've been on the trains, I've never actually been on this line. Um, so just a little bit of um, history. So the line goes between the London Tilbury and South End railway line, which is run by C2C now, um, at Minster, um, goes through Emerson Park, and then um, terminates here at Romford on the old Great Eastern Main Line, now run by Greater Anglia. Uh, the line was opened if I check my notes, on the 7th of July, 1893. And this was a separate station. As I said, there were two stations here at Romford. So you had the main one, which was built by the Great Eastern Railway, and this smaller one built by the London Tilbury and South End. The stations were merged um, in 1934, um, so that people didn't actually have to go out of one and go into another just to continue their journey. It's a single line, it takes about nine minutes to get from one end to the other. So what we're going to do is we're gonna get the train, go all the way to Upminster, get off, get back on again. And then we will um, get off at Emerson Park, have a little look around there, and then get back here to start to, um... <laughs> sorry, got some trains, get back here to Romford, and then we'll kind of sum up our journey. Um, the journey took almost bang on 10 minutes end to end. Um, on the timetable, I think it's booked for nine minutes, but um, a minute, what's a minute? Let's face it, in the, in the grand scheme of things. So here we are at Upminster. Now this train will probably just turn around and go back, um, but I just need to go out, tap out and tap back in again. So what I'm going to do is just have a little mooch around Upminster station, um, which as uh, many of you know, will, is the end of the district line um, on London Underground. So we'll just go and have a quick look over there 
um, before we tap out and I think I might see if I can get myself a nice cup of coffee. So let's go. Okay, so I've got my coffee and um, I'm just in um, it's the high street at the moment, a place I haven't been to for decades. I just thought it might just be um, nice just to give a little bit of context as to why I'm down here. So I grew up in the Romford area, um, moved away when I was about 10 years old and I used to come back a lot. So my grandparents lived just outside Romford and that was when I got into trains. So my kind of formative railway years were spent in and around Romford of all places. But one thing I never did was do the Romford to Upminster branch line, which is a shame because I missed out on it being um, diesel hauled. I can remember going past Romford and seeing a diesel unit um, sort of in the bay platform ready to go and I always wondered where that went to because I was just so used to electric trains. So that's part of the reason why I've come to do this. But also, um, you know, I'm an Essex boy at heart. I've lived in South East Essex for most of my life. And actually, there are just a couple of odds and sods of railway lines that I've never done. And the Upminster to Romford branch line is one of them. And I just thought, it's a lovely day. Let's go and have a little look. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to head back to the station. Um, I think the train leaves in about 10, 15 minutes time. And we'll head back to Romford, but we will stop off at Emerson Park and see what's there. A lot of people still think of it as Essex um, because it's right on the border. Obviously, it was Essex once upon a time, and it feels—I don't know—a little bit kind of not quite suburban, but almost not quite in the countryside, if you know what I mean. Um, but yeah. It is very much, it's got that end of the line kind of feel. And I suppose it is because you've got the end of the district line here and you've also got the end of the Romford to Upminster branch line. Here I am at Emerson Park, um, halfway along the line. So this station was built in 1909 and um, I don't know who it serves. Um, as I said earlier, I kind of, I grew up around this area, but not in this bit. Um, I grew up uh, sort of over towards um, a place called Collier Row, a few miles away. Um, but this is a teeny tiny little station, it is one platform. It's not a very long platform, it just about takes four cars. There's the canopy behind me. Um, we've got CCTV. There is a little booth type thing for a member of staff, and there is a member of staff in there. Um, I'm going to tap out, because um, obviously I'm breaking my journey. Um, let's just do this. There we go, that's been sorted and then we'll tap back in in a minute. So, our next train is the 12.16 to Upminster, which means <laughs> my next train back to Romford's at about 12.30, um, because you get a train pass through here every 15 minutes, but we're gonna go out of the station and have a look and see what's around. <laughs> a couple of shops, a pub, and that's about it. I'm not really going to go much further. So theoretically, 
I could walk back to Rolfa from here, but uh, why walk when you can catch a train? So when I was a kid, this line was run by um, British Rail, and obviously this then became part of Network South East. And when privatisation happened, it got put in with the Great Eastern Main Line, and it kind of bumbled along for quite a few years. And it's now part of the London Overground Network, and it's completely separate from the rest of the Overground Network. I think most of the London Overground, the, the, it joins in places. But this is just this one little line, just out in East London, um, or the eastern tip of London. And um, it doesn't feel like you're in the middle of one of the biggest cities in the world. Well, you're not in the middle, but you know what I mean. But, I mean, if you look at the line behind me, it, it's in cuttings, everything's overgrown, and it's like, it's almost like being a, a little country, um, country branch line. Um, I've been on preserved railways that have felt like this. Um, but I quite like, quite like Emerson Park Station. Um, it's quite, um, quite a pretty station. I've decided that I'm going to sum up here rather than um, when I get back to Romford. Um, as I said, this is a nice little branch line and it obviously serves a purpose. Um, it is a bit incongruous um, in London and you, there's part of me that thinks, well, actually, what does it do? But it kind of, every all the other railway lines pass through somewhere and go into central London or out of central London and none of them connect one part of Havering to another and this is what this branch line does it connects one side of the borough at Romford to the other side of the borough at Upminster and it may only be three miles and it may only take nine minutes but actually sometimes it's those crosswise connections that are needed and when you look at London Overground you tend to find that the lines run around London connecting things from one side to the other rather than going just straight out of London like most of the commuter lines do and that's one of the benefits of London's transport system is that it doesn't just go in and out it goes round and around and this little branch line exemplifies that but there we go such is life I've now got to wait half an hour for a train um, back to Romford um, where I will go and get some lunch I think before I um, leave but thank you for watching thank you for listening to all of my rambles and I hope to see you all again soon um, when I make another one of these videos because there's plenty of little lines out there that whilst I may have done them before that are worth exploring so we'll see you soon remember like the video if you like the video click to subscribe the more the merrier well um, you know I don't make any money out of this at the moment um, I won't mind making a bit of money out of it it'll help finance my hobby <laughs> but this is Steve saying goodbye from Elm Park Station in East London